Seeing the death of a man inside the Marshall County Jail is raising questions about training and pay for jailers. News Channel 5 investigates obtained exclusive video showing officers on the back of a man who begged for his breath. Investigative reporter Ben Hall continues to examine this story. Starting salary for jailers here in Marshall County is $14.46 an hour. In some small counties, it's considerably less prompting some sheriffs to take drastic action. I didn't want to sue the county, but I didn't feel like I had any choice. Decatur County Sheriff Keith Bird was so fed up with the low pay for his deputies and jailers that he sued his own county. The small county in West Tennessee had denied raises for years. It was very difficult to hire people and even harder to retain people. Two years ago, before his lawsuit, Decatur County jailers were paid less than $10 an hour. Some were on food stamps. Jailers who often deal with mentally ill or substance addicted work. inmates made less than fast food workers. The kids at McDonald's were making nearly $12. Jailers were turning over so fast, it got to the point I didn't know who worked for me. When the only people you can pick from to hire are the ones that McDonald's would not hire. Uh, you're not going to get the folks you want. You're not going to get the results you need. Attorney Ray Heron represented the sheriff, and he represented the sheriff in nearby Hardeman County in a similar lawsuit for more pay for his officers. I think the folks in rural counties right now are, are hurting uh, desperately. When Heron saw the video from Marshall County, he immediately thought about training. William Jeanette had been hallucinating and detoxing. He'd been arrested two days earlier and refused to get into a restraint chair. Go get your leg restraints. Before you do anything else, get leg restraints. Officers subdued him but kept him handcuffed on his stomach and even restrained his legs, keeping him in a position that can lead to suffocation. Hey, easy, easy. Remember, it's fictional sex with fixation, guys. Got it. <laughs> That's why I'm not on his lungs. <laughs> Let him breathe. One officer warned it was dangerous, but then incorrectly claimed it's okay to keep him on his stomach if they stay off his lungs. When I saw the video and I heard the fellow say, be careful, don't suffocate him, and then they did suffocate him, I, I thought, you know, it's not malice, it, it's incompetence. Heron said many smaller counties have incredibly high turnover for jailers because it's a tough job with low pay. Marshall County says it does not keep records on turnover for jailers. Its starting pay is higher than Decatur at more than $14 an hour. And if you have constant turnover, you're not gonna have the competence, the experience, the expertise you need to do terribly difficult jobs. I felt like I was backed into a corner. I had to do something. Decatur County settled the sheriff's lawsuit last year, meaning it agreed to pay deputies and jailers more. Starting pay for jailers now is up to nearly $14 an hour. Our quality and quantity of applicants is, has gotten lots better because my folks make a decent salary now. Sheriff Bird said he has not seen the Marshall County video, but he knows many small counties worry about low pay for jailers and deputies. He said how to sue your county was talked about at the last Sheriff's Association meeting. They had a seminar on how to do it. That's how bad it's gotten. The grand jury in Marshall County looked at the case and did not file criminal charges against any of the officers. Marshall County and Lewisburg now face a civil lawsuit over Jeanette's death. Ben Hall, News Channel 5, investigating.